I think when you start writing music, you have to write what you love. You have to stand by it um, and sort of understand it and in, just in, enjoy all aspects of it. And that's regardless, I think, of whether you're writing very simple tonal music and you're just starting out and you're starting out in thirds and fourths and triads, or whether you're writing super chromatic music or whether you're writing experimental music. I think you, you have to just know it deep inside and, and, as I say, just love it for what it is. Enjoy spending your time with it, rubbing shoulders with crotches and quavers or the groups that you work with, whatever it is, but be excited by that. Do's and don'ts, I think, for writing music come down to two rules. Rule one I referred to earlier, which is, I think, love what you do or love what you write. The second is, for me, mentally, others have a different story. For me, it's know your stock, by which I mean a long time ago I worked in a shoe shop and you had to be ready for anything that anybody threw at you. And there's a mantra that goes around on the shop floor, kind of know your stock. So if somebody comes in with really small feet or really big feet, they come in wanting matching handbags or they come in wanting sturdy walking shoes or something beautiful, immediate for tonight for something glam. You have to know what's kind of going on in order to be able to meet that. And I think the same is kind of true for writing in that if you're writing for a school choir or a pro choir, or you're writing for a community choir. You have to, there are certain sort of expectations and you have to be able to meet them in order to kind of not fulfill the sale, but fulfill the brief, if you like. Inspiration is a thing that all artists talk about a, a, a lot. Uh, we're waiting for the muse to kind of land on our shoulders and do what we do. Um, there's a bit of a myth, I think. Once in a blue moon, for me, for others it may be different, for me, once in a blue moon, a piece will write itself and it's lovely. But that's, I can count that on less than the fingers of one hand. Most of the time, it's just taking time and working quite hard at it. Inspiration has struck for me in unlikely places, driving past John Lewis once. Uh, I had a snow day once uh, and there was a Friday lunchtime and I wrote a little carol, which was quite nice. Um, they're very, very, very rare. What you do is you <laughs> just kind of work and if you hit a wall, you take a break and you come back and you take a break. Uh, Groucho Marx talks about, you know, he was asked about you know, success in, in show business and he just said, it's just rule one, turn up. And you have to keep turning up, you have to keep going back and refining what you do, being prepared to change things, throw things out, start again, but just keep showing up. Um, and inspiration somewhere is within there. You kind of light a fire with those first ideas. Um, and the inspiration part is being drawn more and more, I think, into that kind of vortex of, of, of creativity, uh, unless you're very lucky and the muse lands on your shoulder.